At the Rath Eastlink Community Center and here in Halifax at the Scotiabank Center, the world's best will compete on our ice. It will go beyond these two communities, however, and training camps are being organized uh, for all 10 participating nations uh, to come to Nova Scotia early, to train in communities throughout the province, and to play their exhibition games in communities that will ultimately not just make them feel at home, but make it feel like home. So we're pumped to play host along with our friends uh, here in Halifax and in Toronto to the 2020 IHF uh, Women's World Hockey Championship. This is a city that loves hosting events. Not only do they create the kind of vibrancy in the city that we want, but it fosters sport development here at home. Bringing home gold is long overdue, and we have an incredible opportunity to bring home gold on home soil right here in Nova Scotia. Canada brought home gold in 2004 with the support of its host, Nova Scotia. So with that being said, it's a pivotal time for the future of women's hockey. It's time for Nova Scotia to host again, and it's our time to bring home gold. Halifax, I mean, it's, it's such a, uh, a hockey city, and you know, I had the privilege of playing here in 2011 for the Canada Winter Games, and I know what the crowd can can bring when you play in when you play in Halifax, and so um, we're very excited to be, to be playing on home soil and getting to represent um, you know the country and. And there's no other feeling than playing you know, in Canada and representing your team. So we're, we're very, very excited. It's important for a couple of reasons. Number one is we want to make sure that this is Nova Scotia's event and that communities throughout Nova Scotia and young, especially young athletes from throughout the province can see the event, uh, if not in their home communities, then close to it. And they can be part of the action and feel as if uh, they were part of its success. It's also about inspiring the next generation of young female athletes. We want those young female athletes to see their role models who are uh, competing at the highest level of the sport, uh, but also at the same time, those countries being immersed in those communities provides lasting legacies that serve as social benefits for this event that will last far beyond uh, the duration that the event takes place.